and gentlemen, tonight's fights are sanctioned by the WBC. Your judges at ringside are Sam Maxwell, Helen Gould, and Rod Kent. Your doctor is Dr. Pete the Medic. Your timekeeper is Christine Gould. And when the bell tolls, the man in charge in center ring, the one and only Tricky Trevor Lawler. Tonight's fights are brought to you by our major sponsor, Burke Engineering. Gold Coast, both warriors have now entered the ring. And this is the main event of the evening. Sopo Muay Thai League, from the front to the back and from side to side, let's make some noise. Five by three minute rounds of the light heavyweight division. They will be fighting for the WBC light heavyweight world title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trainer Matthias Lungbeck out of the Helsingborg Muay Thai gym with an official weight of 78.9 kilograms. A total of 90 fights in his career with a professional fight record of 20 fights, 13 wins. Fighting out of Angelholm in Sweden, he is five times Swedish champion and the WBC Scandinavian champion, Marcus Marcus Sundin Liljedal. And across the ring is this man's opponent fighting out of the red corner, trained by Danny Mack and the one and only Andrew Abbott out of Razor Muay Thai with an official weight of 78 kilograms, a professional fight record, 34 fights, 30 wins, 4 losses, fighting out of Orange in New South Wales. He is the WBC NKT champion and the number one WBC ranked light heavyweight Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie, the smiling assassin, Bob! Both fighters, white crew, Ramoy. Let's have a look at the tower tape here. Five by three minute rounds for the WBC World Championship. There's a lot of fights between these gentlemen, Brody. Well over 100. It's going to be an hell of an exciting matchup. Going to be Kaz. I've, well, I haven't seen Marcus fight. Well, I don't know if you have, but um, he's got a pretty decent record. And, you know, like over in, in those, you know, the Scandinavian countries, European countries, they fight often. Mm, they they fight often. They do a lot of those tournament style fights. So, you know, very experienced. Well, he's got 90 fights for a reason. Yeah. Of course, five-time national champion. That's that's no easy feat. No. And, of course, across the ring from him is Charlie Bubb. Yeah. I'm... What else can we say? See, he's worked, he, he is, like he said, 14 years in the making. He's worked his ass off to get to this point. And I rightly deserved title shot and he's going to take it both hands I can guarantee it what a moment well, I suppose the first time I've seen actually besides George Mann someone taller than Charlie yeah it's not he's often Marcus is a tall man right. Marcus is a big man yeah, yeah, Brett are big over there they do they <laughs> do they've got good genes yeah he likes his walk forward style likes his knees and elbows he said that's going to make for one hell of a fight against Charlie Bubb yeah Body immediately. Smart by Charlie. 
And did that fuel tank early? No, no, Marcus has probably had a bit of travel, but Marcus made no excuse whatsoever. He was no, fit, ready to go. Charlie's liking that jab to the body early. Big leg kicks. Charlie changes the southpaw now, as he often does. Oh, heavy hands early by Charlie. Returned by that body. Char oh. Stiff jab from Charlie there. Charlie's power's different level tonight. Oh. Yeah, what a combo. Beautiful combo by Charlie. Sneaking in the uppercuts there, finishing with the low kick. I love it. Mark is trying to, he's hunting forward. He, he is walking yeah. forward. Oh, no, beautiful body kick. Charlie is hunting that body, Hunting that body and then up to the head. Marcus seems so if, super composed, not phased. Yet. Yet, yeah, correct. Body shots are always okay in round one. <laughs> oh! oh it's big as up. <laughs> Charlie's mixing it up. He's going low. He's going high. Now he's he's making Marcus really think. He's also got a big oh, foot imprint shit. on his left hand side of his body from Marcus's body kick earlier. Ooh. Let's see what happens in the clinch. Charlie says no. Yeah. Work or we're breaking it. Marcus is going to continue walking forward no matter what it seems. Charlie chopping away at those legs. You see Marcus's legs are already welted. Not great in round one. No. That left body kick again. But Charlie's racking up the points. Marcus is he's walking forward, but he, he needs to start landing a bit more. Big right kick from Marcus. Final seconds. Looking for that catch and sweep. Look, Marcus has landed some good kicks, but he's landing one to about Charlie's ten. Oh, oh. Charlie finished with a tee early at the end. That's all right. Got to get a shot there somewhere. Wow. Interesting round one. Charlie's straight off to it. Yeah, he's tenderizing him early, isn't he? Let's have a look at the replay. Charlie found a lot of homes with that jab to the body there. There it is. He's digging those body shots in. He's really sinking the body shots in, isn't he? Beautiful combination. Well, we shouldn't be surprised. Charlie's always loved the big body shots. Yeah, that snappy straight jab just sending Marcus's head back. Marcus must have a good kick on him because Charlie does have a foot imprint on one Shit. side of his body from, that was just from one body one kick. kick. yeah. Very interesting first round. Wonder what adjustments Marcus is going to make. They're going to have to pick up the pace a little bit because yeah. he is playing that tie game and he's obviously got powerful kicks, but points matter. Yeah, 100%. Marcus is an absolute gentleman to talk to um, yesterday at the weigh-ins, and, and he's got that same attitude there in the corner. He just likes it. He's a super nice, polite guy, but yep. <laughs> he's had a fight. They're the ones that scare me the most. Yeah. <laughs> he took a lot of damage in there. You can't see it yet, but I can tell you now, the leg kicks and the body shots, they really start adding up early on. Round number two, let's see what happens. Charlie straight on it. 
straight back into those bodies. Marcus still that nice, strong tie style, walking forward. Boys tie up. Oh, a nice double up there by Charlie. See, lots of double lokings tonight. I've been loving it, bro. Inside and outside, back to the body again. Charlie's got a lot of volume. Max is going to have to, you know, he's going to have to do something here. Nice dip, ripping in that body again. He's a bit thrown, Marcus, with that constant change of stance with Charlie. Mm. Hitting off both hands, kicking off both. Oh! Catching Marcus that elbow. Those body shots are really going to start paying off soon. Big two from Charlie. And he's Mark. opened up Marcus. He has, he's opened him up early. Oh, good one too. The good uh, referee will look at, the doctor will have a good look at this one, I think. Trying to see where that cut is. I think it's just above the right eye there. Yeah, no very good spot. Don't come over here. Oh, oh. Charlie. Marcus is definitely the walk for fighter. He said he was. Oh, Charlie, a little sneaky overhand. Then the Warfall style is not working that well against someone like Charlie that he uses angles oh. and he changes his stance so well. <laughs> Fair bit of blood coming out of Marcus now. At some point they're going to have that checked out. Yeah, the ref's going to have a look at this very shortly, I reckon. Whoa, big low kick from Charlie. I think Marks is looking for the, you know, he's looking for oh. this particular moment. He wants a big elbow in there, but... He can't wait. He can't wait. Charlie's got so much volume. Changing levels, up and down, head, body. Yeah. Here we go. This is what we're worried about. Going to have to have a look at that cut. Just above his right eye there. Let's hope the doctor lets this one keep rolling on. It's a world title. Oh, he's got a big one on the inside of his left, left eye. He's letting it go. He's letting it go. Not for much longer no. before, before we see those cuts. Charlie, yeah, another one under your eye. You're I just, right. Yeah, I just noticed that second cut under his left eye, or just above his left eye. Oh, it's no. going to start getting away with his vision soon. That's when the doctor will stop it. Yeah. Charlie's not letting this volume go. He is hunting. Every one of those low kicks Charlie's throwing is heavy. Wow. We knew we'd get blood, Brady. We knew it and we got it. Oh, Look, the cut above his right eye. I'm, I'm not that worried about that, what, that one. If there's one under his, uh, just above his left eye there. I think. No. Oh, no? No. It was just I agreed. I thought I thought it was one too. Got to respect the fighter that's bleeding like that and just continues to keep walking forward. But Charlie's volume is really paying off here. Well, Charlie's level changes are really something else here. Marcus just isn't sure what to defend. Yeah, I can't see this this fight lasts much longer with that size of that cut. No, you're right. I think he might have one on his left eyebrow. He does? Yeah, on his eyebrow. Yeah. I did notice a bit of, bit of scar tissue on Marcus uh, when I was chatting yesterday, so it's certainly not his first war at 90 fights. The one about the left eye they're worried about. Yeah. When they start repeating their vision, that's when they're more likely to call it off, Brody, as we know. Uh, Niti. His corner really should have gloves on. 
It's called a shake and more than Marcus's. <laughs> Yeah, I get, it gets like that when you, when it's your own fighter, you get a bit, you know, the, that adrenaline rush for him. Marcus is calm as. Marcus is fine with <laughs> it. Let's see if we see this round out. Oh, the Duffy's going to have a look now. They'll give it. He says he's right. He's not digging around in too much. All right, he's good to go. Yeah, good. I think he's got this round to get the job done, but Charlie's just going to punch that Vaso straight here. Oh. Max is turning it up now. Yeah. He, know, he knows he's going to have to really do something here and finish this fight before the doctor calls it. Probably safer in the clinch here. Oh. Charlie again. I ain't gonna help. Good catch by Trevor. And those low kicks from Charlie are heavy. Oh, and again. Now the elbow. This is why we wear black. <laughs> oh, Charlie's looking for that elbow. He wants to open his up. Digging that body shot in. Everything from Charlie is just 100% tonight. Oh, oh beautiful high kick. Oh. oh. So let's be careful. Marcus loves his elbows and knees. It doesn't take much to get a, a big cut when you oh. get those collisions like that. Oh, damn teeth to face. That eye is, that's... We got a lot of damage in there, Brody. Nah, good chance this is going to be done to that eye. is literally hanging, hanging down. That eyelid's hanging. What that's, a worry, Marcus is. There's no exaggeration. If you have a nice, quick look, his left eyebrow is hanging. And he is just not face fight. He is walking forward. Whoa. What a fight we've got here for the WBC Light Heavyweight Champion. Big low kicks. Oh, there we go. Charlie with the combo is finishing with that big heavy low kick. Very smart from Charlie. It's really easy to head hunt those cuts, Brody, but he's still changing levels. Yeah. He's still keeping him guessing. That kick to the face again. Oh, and Marx's left eye is literally hanging now. Oh, there's that Boy, sneaky elbow. <laughs> what a warrior Marcus is. We're going to see this fight go on much longer. Those cuts nah. are really bad. Look, he's got one above his right eye, eye but it's, yeah. it's the one above his left eye that's concerning. Nah, that's for me, that's a. Just good. It's going to be all over after this round. Play here, and what a, we've got a lot of cuts here. Charlie's really gone to work, high volume here, but what a worry Marcus is. I, I can't see this fight going on. There, those those cuts are very severe. The doctor is in the ring. Let's see what happens. Marcus doesn't seem face. He's he's ready here to fight. He's not shaking or worrying.
This is a tough one, ladies and gentlemen. WBC light heavyweight world titles on the line. There are some big cuts involved, and boy, what a fight we have. Brody, how tough is Marcus? Man, super tough. He's still, he's still game two. He's still walking forward. He's still, he's still trying to hunt Charlie down. Got to give him credit. For me, I think this will be a stoppage. Yeah, that, that, those cuts are just too far gone. We're checking it. The, look, it's corner cool seem to have stopped the bleeding somewhat. Let's see what happens. Won't last long. It only takes one shot. Doc is gonna have a look at it. They've done a good job of covering with Vaseline there. Doctor's checking him, his eyesight's okay. Nah, uh, that, that eye, as soon as that face is gone, that eyelid drops over his eye. And the ball is over. We've got a new world champion, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie Bum has won this one with elbow cuts. What a warrior Marcus is coming over here from Sweden on one week's notice to fight Charlie Bum. Yeah, wow. Yeah, man, what a... What a what a what a gentleman too. You could see that meant a lot to him. I know he's, he, that that got him that emotion. Mm -hmm. He had his shot. You know what? Like man, hats off. No one else wanted to step up. No, nope. no one else had the balls to step up. Good on Marcus. Marcus Lindelof from Sweden comes here on one week's notice, and the only reason that fight got stuff is for the doctor. But yeah. boy, did Charlie earn it. His volume, he earned it. his intensity, his power. Wow. That man has a heart of a lion. What a massive amount of respect we can have for Marcus Lindelof from Sweden coming in on one week's notice. He wasn't, he had no intention of stopping. He wanted to fight, but those cuts, ladies and gentlemen, were a little bit too much. Let's go to John Dimicoli for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your doctor, Dr. Pete the Medic, put a stop to this contest at the end of the third round due to a cut stoppage. Declaring your winner, and new WBC light heavyweight world champion, Charlie the Smiling Assassin, Bob! Keep your applause going for Marcus, ladies and gentlemen, the heart of a lion. I want to grab a word. Man, 14 years, Charlie Bub. 14 years culminated. Blood, sweat, tears. Today, you get your wish. You got the main green strap around your waist. Just tell me right now how it feels. Oh, when you're the world champion, they don't call you the world champion. They call you one thing, they call you Charlie Bub. But this is awesome. This has been 14 years in the making. I lost my opportunity three years ago. We fought everyone that was put in front of us to get back here. Uh, the late withdrawal on Sunday, but give us a round of a hand for Marcus. P isn't the toughest person in the world. I promised him 100% I'll give him a full camp. We'll get him back here a rematch. He shouldn't lose any rank in the WBC for that, for the performance that he just put on. He should be definitely further, further up, the, up the ladder. So 100% round of applause for Marcus. Charlie, you had a massive camp. And then fighting Ogden one week out, your opponent changes about six days' notice. 
What did you change up? What did you do differently in the last week? Or you just continue just going with the process? Ah, uh, my mindset was, it's taken 14 years to get here. It's not about who was standing in front of me. It's about the belt was gonna wrap, get wrapped around my waist. Anyone in the world has a problem with it, they can come get some. But it didn't change at all. I knew what we'd done in the camp was gonna make us win no matter who was in front of us. So it didn't change at all just to get this belt around my waist. Mate, to win a world title, it's not a single thing. It takes the village. I'm sure there's some people you want to thank for getting you where you are right now. 100%. I've got my awesome team of Danny Mack and Andrew Abbott. They show up Eastern every day. Abbott wants to go riding bulls, so I had Sandy Gibbs O'Neill in the crowd holding pads for me this camp. Um, it shows the community we have back home. Like, I think near 40 people from Orange have come up for this, so just the support is amazing. To have Richie Walsh in the corner, unbelievable. Burke's Engineering, sponsoring me. He sponsors this fight night, he's an absolute legend. Andrew Abbott Painting, Orange Motor Group. They've got a full table over there. Thank you guys for everything you do. Punish Fight Gear and Nutrition, Optimus CBD, One Recovery, everyone back home in Orange. The Kia and Benji, two years ago I told you I wanted to turn the belt green and add WBC, and we've done it. Mate. I know you've always got an amazing a message for people out there in the crowd and watching at home on our stream. Uh, yeah, so as everyone knows, I always do this. We're very strong towards suicide prevention. Everyone has a lot of ups and downs. I definitely had a lot of good and a lot of bad days during this camp. But the one thing I realised, God put you on this earth to do what you're here to do, so you've got to go find that thing. It's up for you to go and find it. I find my passion. It's up to you to go find yours and turn your life around. So thank you for everyone for coming out. I'll see you next time. Charlie, the hunter has now become the hunted. The WBC world title is yours. I can't wait to see who it is that you defended again first, man. One of my happiest moments of calling a world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your new WBC world champion, Charlie Barb. And thank you to the MTL 10 World Series, ladies and gentlemen. We've got two world champions. And what a ripper of a co-main event we had with Brandon and Itchup Brody. Wow. Man, what a night. What a night. The world title stay in Australia. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Thank you, everyone, for watching. That's it for tonight.